Hey Dave, as of Friday, last Friday, I'm officially half vaccinated for the COVID vaccine with the Pfizer. Thanks for taking me on a new journey that you took to a new place. That is a really gorgeous sky and the trains are almost in as much motion as the clouds. You could argue that they're in more motion than the clouds. They just have to make stops. One journey I'm still on that we'll have book club discussion Monday is the family book club that my stepmom runs. We are currently reading Anxious People by Frederick Bachman or Bachman. Have I already summarized this? I probably have. Basically, funny plot summary, not to spoil too much. This uh, distraught man that's a haphazardly indecisive bank robber decides to try to rob a cashless bank and then desperately flees into an apartment building and takes a bunch of people at an apartment viewing hostage. Anyway, uh, every once in a while the narrator has these little nuggets of wisdom he provides throughout the book as he's telling the story. And uh, this one's kind of like a lens. It's really interesting. And uh, so I thought that I would share that with you today, this idea. He says in relations to homes and apartments and something about pictures that people don't want a picture. They want a frame. And that idea for sure for stuck with me. Like maybe this is why it's hard to buy art or buy things for an apartment in such short notice because when you buy them, if you haven't been with them a long time, they feel like a stranger in your home. It's sort of like how every person that I don't know is an entire complex human being that contains multitudes. For somebody to be an individual to you, you have to like get to know them so that they become an individual and not just like, oh, like there's a person walking down the street, random person, I don't know. So here's the thing, here's the sort of the idea. A frame has space to melt and contribute into it. Like the structure and the framework is already there, so it's already inviting a person to like add to it and partner with it and contribute to it because there's space. There's an opportunity to like see oneself inside of the frame in some capacity. Like a train with no passengers, a discord room with no members, a journal page with no writing in it. An empty apartment, emptied well, makes it sort of feel like no one ever lived there if it's done well enough. Even photography and video recording, right, is choosing what's in the frame because I'm making the choice what to fill the frame with. It seems to me, right, that like people want to be in motion even at a time of not being in motion. Like even if it's sitting outside in the cold having a pint with some friends. Or even creating in lockdown or having some sort of virtual journey or virtual motion like this collaboration or something on Discord or some journey of some kind. And I sure want to be moving too in a lot of ways even though I don't always know why that motion is occurring or what that motion is serving for me. Hopefully it's like healthy motion. Is this why babies fall asleep in cars? And to come back to it Dave, even this collaboration we're a part of is sort of emotion. I mean, look, you got to travel without a goal in mind except to share an experience and you got to move around. Who knows where change and moving will actually take us? Can't really predict everything, right? Maybe the point is to move and be movable, to partner with what's in reach and add value to the frame, whatever that frame is. I'm a participant, not only an observer, and that grants me agency and really the choice to choose the practices and the habits and the journeys that create the kind of change that I seek to make, or ones I can't even predict that I'll want to do like years from now. And nature keeps moving and participating and doing things purposelessly all the time, so why can't we do some of that as well? Of course, you know, human game stuff, actions with purpose, some of it's intentional and purposeful, but some of it can be for enjoyment, like traveling for the sake of traveling, without having some kind of efficiency, intelligent goal in mind. So the frame metaphor is really, really interesting. You know, I never expected a book I was reading in Family Book Club to make me think so interestingly about that metaphor and idea. There's comfort in motion and in partnership and in creative living. So have a great day. I'll see you Thursday.